location we chose for Geyser Towers is incredibly unique. First of all, we're at Stone Mountain Park, which is a gorgeous park, a lot of green space in the park. And one thing we wanted to make sure of is that we were staying true to the state park and building Geyser Towers in a way that preserves a natural environment. So we did have a unique environment to work in, and we fit Geyser Towers right into the front area of, of Crossroad, close to Sky Hike, and they kind of work together in tandem. Um, unique environment to work in just because you're right beside a granite mountain. And everybody just thinks the mountain's what you see above the ground, but what they don't realize is there's a lot of that mountain underneath the ground. So anytime you even dig for a foot or anything like a footer, you're going to have the chance of hitting rock out here. And of course, as Geyser Tower would have it, we found some rock underneath uh, the, the site. So, but it was just a challenge we worked through. It was a part of, again, building an attraction at Stone Mountain Park. Um, and again, one of our key focuses was integrating that attraction into the environment while preserving the overall beauty of the park. start off by when you come into the attraction behind me, the first thing that's in front of you is an enormous show geyser. Now what I mean by a show geyser is that's the big water geyser that's going to shoot a, a stream of water about 30 to 40 feet up in the air. So that's the first thing you're going to witness is you come. Now after you get by the, the, the geyser, you're going to then be in the, in the area of our attraction. The attraction is based, it's made up of three towers. The towers are all connected. Um, there's two different levels on each tower and there are bridges that connect them. So each guest experience is unique. Depends what they want to do. Some may climb up to the first level and go into the middle where there's a giant net that connects all three towers that you can jump on, play on, climb around on. If you're brave, you may choose to go up the incline ramp and go up to level two. From level two on the tower, you're 24 feet above the ground and you may choose to then crawl across the V bridge where you have to do some Spider-Man like moves to get across that bridge, get to the next tower, and then make the decision of, hey, maybe I want to go across the tube bridge. And the tubular bridge is great, it's a circular bridge. So again, unique elements that, that just add to the experience. So we've talked about geyser towers, but what you really need to do is see it up close. Let's go. So here's where the excitement starts. We're standing at the entrance to Geyser Towers. I've got to make it up this bridge to the first level 14 feet. I can't wait. Come on. moved over to tower number two, Geyser Tower. And well, you can see we're working on it still, and right behind me is where there will be the giant net that connects all three towers. And you'll have the ability to run out in that, play on that, climb on that, and don't forget, there's that geyser underneath of you that may shoot up and bubble up at any point. So we're continuing to build, and if you look out behind me, You'll see tower number three, and you'll see the bridges going from level one to level two. You'll see all the stuff starting to come together. It'll only be a couple more weeks before we're ready to let you try this attraction yourself. <laughs> 